Hi. Besides death, having an opinion on a caramel level is likely the most normal thing to happen in humanity. Due to the craziest man having a bunch of experimental releases to his name, there will be some discussion on what is his best, and what is his most interesting, and why Elite C Rebirth is the worst thing ever made. Though at least three of those things are relevant today, we will still look at Kermal's levels and see which ones are worth paying attention to. Of course, if you're gonna make a list like this, you need some good criteria, so the criteria will be very common. Complicated. Gut feeling. No objectivity here, folks. Like, just quick spoilers, you could not guess this list if you tried. No one will agree with this. It's unhinged as hell, and it's just stupid. So leave a like down below before getting to my list, just to be safe. I will include all levels on Kermal's account, even the collabs, just to be inclusive. Last Friday was Purple Friday, which is the day that we celebrate the LGBTQ community, so it only felt natural and normal to do this. Let me know what your personal favorites are, down in the comments below by the way because my community is quite the anomaly with opinions sometimes there's a bunch of crazy levels to get through so let's just get right to the point with my least favorite kermal level because it's barely even his level alive takes the number 18 spot he just got it from one of his friends whose name escapes me. Kermal did add a funny haha straight fly at the end. Kinda has a weird signature. But the gay straight fly is pretty easily the best part of this level. And look at what it looks like. It is the only part that has anything outstanding about it. Which is that it's bad. This is why it's the worst Kermal level. It's just a regular level. Why is it on Kermal's account? I know it's it's because he wanted creator points, but whatever. Let's get to the next one. Surprising absolutely nobody, Steel Gear also comes up on the rear because it's just a shitty mega collab. Yeah, it has some okay-ish parts here and there, but it, this would have never gone above number 17 anyway. For once, I truly have nothing to say about a Kermal level. Very weird. Yet another shitty mega collab is up next, with Valor landing at number 6. This is just not worth your time, neither is Mystic or Instinct for that matter, but this level at least has some very funny parts. For a level with this many talented creators, this is at best thoroughly underwhelming. Some parts look like absolute garlic by the way, like what the shit was Luigi taking when he made this part. Precisely zero parts here look good for the so-called standards nowadays, which isn't a bad thing, but in this case it's really not helping. Feller is just a mess. I don't like low death. The number 15 ranking fits an ultra buffed version of a great level very well. Though there are some very funny parts about this level, plus he created a great t-shirt, it is still just a shit version of an actually good level. It's a level more so made for the gimmick than the attention. Just beat High Life instead. Way better level in general. Face. I hope his ass gets grinded on the floor by an angry orangutan. F*** this guy. I mean, no one who reveals himself as a Dutchman deserves to breathe the same oxygen as me. Number 14 is this munch horny guy called Hungry Humphrey. I figured as much because that's what the face calls itself. If you happen to be in his way, maybe your Uber driver took a wrong turn or something, you will quickly find yourself facing God himself disguised as a happy-go-lucky, party-loving pair of eyeballs and hyper-realistic teeth. Don't worry though, because just like every God, he makes you part of him. So yes, while God himself is among us, I just don't think this stacks up to the other Kermal levels. Though this is the first level that I actually like. <laughs> I get the joke. <laughs> Placing don't rate this level at number 13 above the Lord is maybe a way to teleport my soul into hell, but we'll find out when I die. This is just making fun of old featured levels. It's a stupidly ugly level, but that's on purpose, so I can kinda respect it for that. Besides some very funny jokes here and there, this level as a level just blows ass, so it won't go any higher than this. If you vacuum cleaner dust sniffing virgin say the f***ing line I will make your face match the color of the pavement. So anyway the biggest issue I have with XD misspelled is that it looks like this. Though the clean execution of vomit makes me place it at number 12 I don't think this could go any higher for me. Not a bad level by any means if you could somehow avoid the fatherless fish brain morons that yell the lyrics over the rooftops of their peaceful local community at 3am on a Wednesday. I will be rearmed if those exostens show their dumb, ugly, useless faces again. So for number 11, we have a very solid level that has the worst duel ever made in it. I know I could have placed this either way higher or way lower than I did, but for me personally, this is the most whatever level that this mentally insane fellow has to offer. It's creative, sure, but for me personally, it doesn't do a lot. Comparing it to even the levels that rank below this, Rearm just doesn't have the same pizzazz that some of those levels have. So yes, a solid level that doesn't make me come. Well, 
kind word, mommy. I'll ask Stepsister if she is a is she washing the machine? The medical level just barely cracks the top 10, mostly due to the creative gameplay and song choice. Of course, this level plays like scraping your tongue across sandpaper for hours, but it's really the first level to grind the average extreme demon grinder's tongue to ground beef. Color scheme aside, this just does the theme justice to such an unbelievable degree that the level might as well just be the music video. Great level overall that is majorly held back by being red and black, to be honest. Man pulled a grew and stole the freaking moon. What an absolute legend. Besides the physics defining logic that Phobos represents, it doesn't go above number 9 on this list. But why is the level with this part in it even this high in the first place? Well, it's interesting. I don't know why I like this level as much as I do, but I've always vibed with Phobos. Plus, it also doesn't help that I've played this one a lot, and I think the gameplay is pretty fun. There's just sort of an aura this level gives off in general that is very hard to replicate. I don't know how to describe most of Phobos' gameplay-wise, because it is weird. <laughs> It's unhinged in a new and unique way, which is what makes it superior to Bloodbath in my opinion. Either way, Phobos being this high is not even close to the most controversial thing that I will have on this list. <laughs> this one is really funny. Yes, this level sucks ass, but come on, it's just so iconic and part of the seal lore, so I'm not putting this lower than number 8. I've talked about this level so many times that I won't bother right now. Just know that the things that most people hate about this level are the exact reasons I love it. Alpha Trigger Demon. This is the most satisfying level I've ever beaten without question just shows so much unbelievable domination over level to beat it without knowing where the hell you're going number seven might seem far too high for deadlock without vision but this is my list that you could go chuck a bottle of bottle caps instead <laughs> another bad level outranking some actual quality levels. I know, what a seal list this is. It's conical depression, come on. This is probably the first truly questionable raid of its era, which is impressive considering Stalker was rated as well. The extended challenge level just has some cool ass gameplay ideas and a lot of stupid levels take their stupid factor mostly from this level, so it plays at number 6. This list is ridiculous. Unlike some other GD YouTubers, I know the history behind my pick for the number 5 spot, in MANIX. This was made before the Manix version, so I can actually place this high up. Just like Invisible Deadlock, the difficulty is not condensed in the gameplay itself, but rather you not being able to see it. Unlike Invisible Deadlock, however, this level has backgrounds and some awesome effects, plus it references the previously covered masterpiece. Great experimental level, without question one of Kermal's best. Hi. Trying to look past my 3 out of 100 enjoyment rating, this is a fantastic effect level with incredibly intense gameplay. If the level worked, probably would maybe enter the top 3, but for now the endless useless bugs just drag this into being garbage to play. High is just such an enigma, with the things that make it so strong from a viewing experience being the exact things that I would remove from a gameplay standpoint. So yes, a level I would not recommend beating, but definitely watching. It's intense and very much unique in what it does. Coming in at number 3, is probably the winner in most people's lists. Black Blizzard is an absolute masterpiece in setting up a vibe and world building with the most shocking thing about it being that it's monochromatic. Good lord, this is also f***ing good. In fact, I already have an entire review on this level back when I didn't use this dumb motherfucker. So go watch that if you want to hear me suck this level off for five minutes straight. Banger level. There remain two. And taking the second place spot is another level that is buggy as f***. Falling Up is one of the first ever levels to actually set a narrative in a GD level without using the A object in the editor. It's insane how much atmosphere this level sets up, only being challenged by Coal Rain over there. The song is also super iconic, similarly to Asbestos Drizzle's song. This has a lot of similarities to Black Blizzard, though I prefer Falling Up due to the use of color. I know, what a picky thing to nitpick about a level made to be monochromatic, but that really is the biggest difference between these two in quality for me. Also, we don't talk about the gameplay. Either way, the entire top 3 is 10 out of 10 levels for me, especially the number 1 spot. Gauntlet Fuselays. This is such an unmatched level in terms of setting a vibe. I feel like an acid trip is the best way to describe how this level feels. But like you could probably hear, I'm still not 100% sure that's the best way because it's just so unique in what it does. I've discussed my deeper thoughts uh, on this level like two weeks ago, so I won't make this section very long. Just the fact that Kermal was able to use rainbows in this way is just incredible to me. Plus, who would have used this song in a level the way 
way that Kermal does. I don't think there would have been anybody else to do it as well as this. The gameplay also just sets the vibe so much better than any level I've ever seen. So that's another bonus point for Lit Fuse. What a surprise that Kermal could make something cool, am I right? That's it then, fellas. Crazy that a mankin 50, isn't it? I might look at some other creators in the future, but that's for next time.